The announcement in January 2025 that the Australian government would commit an additional 100 million Australian dollars to produce 44 new Bushmaster protected mobility vehicles marked a significant turning point for the nation's sovereign industrial base. Manufactured at the Thales Australia facility in Bendigo, Victoria, these vehicles represent more than just a procurement order. They signify the continued evolution of a platform that has become a global benchmark for crew protection. The Bushmaster, affectionately known by soldiers as the Bushy, has transitioned from a rugged troop carrier into a sophisticated digital fortress. As the global security landscape shifts toward high-intensity conflict and the proliferation of unmanned aerial systems, the emergence of the Bushmaster 5.5 variant serves as a critical response to the lessons learned on modern battlefields, particularly from the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. The reputation of the Bushmaster was forged in the harsh environments of Afghanistan and Iraq, where its V-shaped hull became legendary for its ability to deflect the blast of improvised explosive devices. However, the requirements of 2026 demand a different kind of resilience. The latest iteration, the Bushmaster 5.5, reflects a profound shift in design philosophy. One of the most striking visual and structural changes is the removal of the traditional side windows. While this may seem like a step backward in terms of visibility, it is a calculated decision based on ballistic reality. In the era of first-person view drones and loitering munitions, side glass, even when armored, remains a structural vulnerability. By replacing these windows with composite armor, Thales has significantly enhanced the vehicle's ability to withstand side impact blasts and high-velocity shrapnel. To compensate for the loss of direct line of sight, the 5.5 variant utilizes an array of high-definition cameras, providing the crew with a 360-degree situational awareness feed displayed on internal monitors. Furthermore, the introduction of dedicated front side doors addresses a long-standing feedback loop from operators. Previous models relied heavily on the rear hydraulic ramp for egress, in a scenario where a vehicle is immobilized or the rear is obstructed by debris or fire, a rapid exit is a matter of life or death. The new door configuration allows for a much faster evacuation of the cabin, ensuring that the crew can transition to a dismounted posture in seconds. This physical evolution is supported by a significant mechanical upgrade. The vehicle's gross weight has been optimized to 17 tons with a payload capacity now exceeding four tons. This increase in payload is essential for carrying the heavy electronic warfare suites and additional armor kits required for modern peer-to-peer -peer combat. To manage this weight, the 5.5 variant features a reinforced axle system and an upgraded suspension, ensuring that the vehicle retains its signature off-road mobility and a top speed of over 100 kilometers per hour. Perhaps the most strategic advancement in the Bushmaster 5.5 is its integration of cutting-edge counter-unmanned aerial systems technology. In late 2025, successful trials were conducted using the D-Drone AI platform integrated directly into the Bushmaster's electronic architecture. This system represents a leap forward in electronic defense. Unlike traditional radar, which can give away a vehicle's position through active emissions, the new CUAS suite utilizes passive radio frequency sensors to listen for the control signals of incoming drones. The onboard artificial intelligence can identify, track, and prioritize multiple drone threats simultaneously distinguishing between a harmless bird and a lethal suicide drone in less than half a second. Once a threat is identified, the system can trigger localized jamming or alert the crew to engage the threat with the vehicle's remote weapon station. 
This capability transforms the Bushmaster from a passive transport into an active node of protection within a wider formation. This technological sophistication aligns perfectly with the Australian Defence Force's broader strategic shifts. The new batch of vehicles ordered in 2025 is specifically earmarked to support the 10th Long Range Fires Regiment. As Australia integrates the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, into its inventory, the Bushmaster 5.5 will serve as the essential command and control hub for these long-range assets. In this role, the vehicle acts as the brain, managing data links and targeting information while remaining mobile enough to avoid counter-battery fire. The ability of the Bushmaster to keep pace with fast-moving artillery units while providing a secure, air-conditioned environment for sensitive electronics is a unique capability that few other protected vehicles in its class can match. The economic implications of the Bushmaster program are equally vital to the Australian national interest. The 100 million Australian dollars investment secures hundreds of highly skilled jobs in regional Victoria, ensuring that the expertise required to design and build these vehicles remains within the country. This concept of sovereign capability is a cornerstone of current Australian defence policy. By maintaining the production line at Bendigo, Australia ensures that it is not dependent on overseas supply chains during a period of global crisis. The capacity to repair, overhaul and upgrade these vehicles domestically provides a level of operational readiness that is invaluable. Analysts point out that the cost of domestic production is often scrutinized, but the long-term savings gained from logistics commonality and the retention of technical intellectual property provide a clear return on investment. On the international stage, the Bushmaster 5.5 is positioning itself as a formidable export candidate. The United Kingdom's land mobility program has closely watched the development of the 5.5 variant as it seeks a replacement for its aging fleet of protected vehicles. The proven track record of the Bushmaster in Ukraine, where it has been credited with saving hundreds of lives, serves as the ultimate marketing tool. International observers have noted that while other vehicles might offer higher levels of armor, they often do so at the expense of mobility or reliability. The Bushmaster's balance of protection, simplicity, and uptime makes it an attractive option for nations like Japan and New Zealand, who share similar operational requirements in the Indo-Pacific region. As we look toward the end of the decade, the role of the Bushmaster within the Australian Defence Force appears more secure than ever. The transition to the 5.5 standard demonstrates an ability to innovate rapidly in response to real-world combat data. It is no longer just a taxi for the infantry. It is a multi-mission platform capable of electronic warfare, command and control, and advanced reconnaissance. The integration of AI-driven defenses and the hardening of the chassis against modern threats ensure that the vehicle will remain relevant until at least 20, 30, and beyond. The continued investment of millions of Australian dollars into this platform is a testament to its success and a clear signal that Australia intends to remain at the forefront of protected mobility engineering. Ultimately, the story of the Bushmaster 5.5 is one of adaptation. It reflects a nation that understands the importance of protecting its most valuable asset, its people. Whether navigating the muddy tracks of Eastern Europe or patrolling the vast expanses of Northern Australia, the Bushmaster continues to prove that thoughtful engineering and a commitment to sovereign manufacturing can produce a world-leading result. The evolution from a simple blast-protected vehicle to the digital powerhouse seen today is a remarkable journey, ensuring that the Australian soldier is equipped with the very best tools to survive and win in the complex battle space of the future.